In this bubble tutorial video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create recurring workflows the right way. Now, we have covered recurring workflows before on this channel, and that was before May 2023, when we had to deploy some sort of workaround. And that was mainly to do with, with this. That if I go onto the bubble pricing table uh, and look at recurring workflows, before May 2023, if you're on the what is now known as the starter plan, but basically the first few plans, you were limited to how frequently you could run the workflow. So in fact, on the first paid plan, you could only run the workflow every month. And so we developed a workaround using Chrome jobs. But this has changed since the new pricing came in in May 2023. And uh, yeah. Because of new, Bubble's new pricing, they uh, have also added in features to help optimize your apps, including making recurring workflows available on a daily rate on all of the pay plans. So here is how you add them into your app. Uh, I'm going to do this really simply. I've got a page and I just want to be able to email a user uh, every day, for example. Um, so I go into backend workflows and I create a new recurring event. And I'm gonna just call this uh, email user. I'm gonna put the type as user, uh, and then I'm going to add in the email action. I'm gonna say current workflows users email, uh, and I'll just subject daily email. Hi, this is a recurring email in bubble okay right so i have that as a back-end workflow as a recurring event but recurring events have to be triggered uh, so i'm going to go back to my page that i've called recurring workflows um, and i'm going to just add in a button now you will need to work out the appropriate place to trigger this in your app if your app does send a, a daily email, maybe you would incorporate the action that I'm adding to this button into your registration workflow. Um, but I'm just going to say uh, start recurring emails. And then, uh, right, then I find set or cancel a recurring event. I pick my recurring events that I created in the back end workflows tab. Uh, workflow thing. Remember, I'm passing a user into it because I'm using the user's email as my recipient data. And then the frequency, I'm going to say daily uh, and start date. So just so I can demonstrate how this works, I'm going to do current date uh, plus uh, 20 seconds. OK, so then if I preview. Hey guys, if you're finding these YouTube tutorials helpful, we invite you to explore even more content on our website at planetnoco.com. We have a large selection and variety of super in-depth and detailed video lessons app created and curated just for our paying members. It's all about learning together and accelerating your no-code journey. Check us out at www.planetnoco.com and let's continue building without limits. Uh, and so that I can show you how this works, I'm going into Logs, Scheduler, and then uh, I'm wanting to show workflows scheduled after the current time. Here's the time that I'm recording this video. So if I click the button and then click Show, it's now showing me that a scheduled workflow, this is how the repeating events work, they schedule a workflow, is scheduled for, uh, looking at the time, oh, maybe I put the uh, wrong time in there. Uh, <laughs> let's just check, I did, oh, add, add seconds, 20. Okay, so what I wanted to demonstrate is that this is July the 5th, which is today, and it's scheduled for two minutes time for some reason, uh, even though I said 20 seconds. Uh, okay, so the workflow has run, and we can see that it's no longer saying July 5th, which is the day I'm recording this video. It's now saying July 6th. So effectively, a recurring um, event, a recurring workflow, is just scheduling 
uh, workflows to happen in the future and they're all accessible through the scheduler. Just as if you had scheduled any other API workflow, it is available from the scheduler. So if you need any help uh, with your Bubble app, you can reach out to us through our website. We offer Bubble one-to-one -one coaching. We also have even more videos on our website. Many of them are member exclusives. Uh, you can become a member to gain access to them uh, to help you out with developing your Bubble app.